welcome viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 Science Paper 2. So this is the 10th episode. If you haven't seen the last nine episodes that have covered this section A through question B5, please check out on our YouTube channel. So question B6, the following elements with their electronic configurations are in a certain group of the periodic table. So we have W, X, Y, then Z. Question A, name the group in which these elements belong. So to tell the group in which an element belongs, you need to look at the number of electrons in the outer shell. So the Number of electrons in the outer shell determines the chemical properties of that element and ends the group in which it belongs. So, if you look at this, you notice that W has 2, then we have 8, then 8, then 8. So, what this tells us, these elements have the complete outer shell, meaning they are from group 8. So, these should come from group 8. 8 of the periodic table or group xylem and these are known as NAT gases because they are unreactive. Then what is also important to take note is the number of shells present in a given atom of an element is the same as the period number in which that element is found in a periodic table. So, for example, if you look at uh, WW as one shell, so this is period one, then this is two shells, one, two and eight, so this is period two, this is period three, then this has one, two, three, four, so this is from period four, so you need to know that. Question B, what accounts for the chemical and the activity of these a group of elements, or in other words, why are they any reactive? chemically. So they are an reactive because of the fact that their atoms all have full outer shell of electrons. So they do not need to share, gain or lose to become a complete. So this is because their atoms or have full outer shell of electrons thus they do not need to share lose or gain electrons to achieve a full outer shell of electrons. So this is the reason. Then our question C, W is used in weather balloons Explain why W is the most suitable for this uh, use. So if you look at W, W is ideally a uh, idiom. If you check on the periodic table. So idiom has the lowest density amongst these uh, elements. So this is because W has low density compared to hair and is able to afloat in the hair because the density is lower than that of hair. Then also to take note is that um, just for noting this uh, element is also an adjective. Remember it belongs to the innate gases or group or elements and removing the hazard of potential reaction with hydrogen when in the hair, so making it more safe. 
We look at question D. Describe the change in density as you go down the group. So as you go down the group, from idiom all the way you are coming down to this uh, element with uh, four shells, we should notice that it is a uh, krypton. So as you move down the group, the density increases. So density increases as you move down the group or thus W as in this case idiom as the lowest density. So this is how you answer this question to get the four marks. Thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode as we look at question B7. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this video to be helpful, please uh, consider liking. And also, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. By liking, subscribing and sharing, you are going to help us improve our visibility. A simple like from you makes a big difference. So once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel, we discover that we've got so much content. So we've got a mathematics based revision questions, we've got a physics, we've got a chemistry, then we've got also topic based section for all the subjects. And this is the best section for you if you're having any challenges in any particular topic.